All right, in this video, we'll be exploring how to manually actually change scenes. So in the last video, we created all this animation stuff, which is awesome. And we here in this part, we are actually changing the scene. Now we're going to learn how to manually do this because this is the automatic way that Godot does it. But we're going to learn how to automatically do this because when we change a scene here in the remote, we can see our main two. When I change, what it does is it just switches this scene to the next one here. Let's actually go to local. We'll say main two, we'll go here and main one, and now we'll have a better description to actually look through this. Okay, so what is actually gonna happen when we do, when we want to actually switch scenes? What we want to do is be able to remove this scene and add a new scene. Now, what is the scene? Well, the scene is just a child, it's a node, right? So what we can do is in our stage manager, here we have these two scenes. So what we can do is load them and add them as a child. So what we're gonna have to do first, the first step is we're gonna remove old scene. And to do that, we have to get tree. We're gonna do it in a not very smart way, which is um, getting child. So when we look here, remote, we see that get child is the uh, zero, one, two. So the second child technically, right? So we're gonna say get child. I'll actually go through a better way to do this later on, but we're going to do this real quick and get this over with. So get child Q, please Q, uh, finish my sentence, please get child. Okay. Let's take that Q free and then I'll copy paste that. There we go. Q free. Cause I don't know how to spell Q for some reason. Let's comment this out because we don't need it for now. So we're going to get that child and, and remove it. So let's actually see what we have now. So when I do this, what's going to happen? Um, yeah, uh, we have to get root, sorry, get root. There we go. Okay, let's try one more time. And if we look at our remote, our child main is gone. But now we want to add our new scene, right? So main two, which is going to be stage path. So what we can do is say, get tree dot get root. And then we're going to add a child, add child new new scene and we have to make sure we actually say what new scene is which is going to be new scene equals stage path dot instantiate and i have to load it actually so let's actually do that so let's say variable scene equals load stage path and now we can Say instantiate. Let's see what happens when I do this. I don't know if I spelled it right. I don't think I did, but let's try it. Okay, we have to instantiate. Oh, we have to say scene. That's probably why. Let's try one more time. Let's try that. And oh, it works. Perfect. I did spell it right. Amazing. Okay, so now we've manually changed our scene. So this is essentially how we do it. That's it. However, um, I, I think I made a video about this before and a lot of people had an issue with the get child because they don't understand when you auto load something you're adding to this. So here I've auto loaded three things. The game is not there, so it's not going to auto load that. In fact, let me just delete that. So now it's auto loading these two things. So utils and stage banner. When, as you start to add things, you're going to have to look for a different child. Now, what we can do is we can actually, we can, there's a few options. One option is to either pass through the old stage. So we can do this and then pass through the new stage, right? So we would look for that stage through the name, right? Whatever you want, or we can do something else. So I'm gonna do the second option. So the first option, you're more than welcome to do that. That's probably easier, but I'll show you how to kind of do both ways in an, to an extent. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna for I in, um, I get child count, but get child count of our root. So we have to say, get tree dot get root dot get tree dot get root get child count so we're going to for loop as many times as we have children so now we're going to say if i dot name or get node i dot name because that's how we actually get the name is equal to no not equal to um we're going to say hmm no what we'll do is we could do this. This is actually a better way to do the old old path. If you're doing the old path, this is probably a, a good way to do it. So we would say if name dot equal equal old um, 
scene, then you would change, and then you would uh, change to that scene or remove that scene specifically. So you would say here, uh, remove or get child dot free. So that's how you would do that. You can also remove child. I think let's do that instead. Remove child i. So we can do that, and then that will basically help us remove our old scene, right? Instead, what we'll do is we're gonna actually say, here, hold on, let's. Let's do this. Let's test something out. So when we do this, let's say variable ch child count equals this, and then let's print our child count. Let's see what we have. So it should give three. Ooh. Oh, I, I did have game. Okay, let me... I'm going to remove this. We don't need this. I'm going to remove utils. Okay, let's try one more time. That's from like an old tutorial. Let's change and child count is two because why is it two? Ah, that's why, because we removed details. Okay, so that makes sense. So we now should only have two. So the second child is not actually the second child. So we can't say get two, get child count. We have to say child count minus one. So here we'll say child count minus one. And now what we can do is say remove child count instead. So this is the easier way to do this if we're looking for a specific child count, the last one, because if our main scene is on the last one, that will work. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll say get child instead. My bad. Get child dot you free. We'll say that. Remove child, I think, is actually something else. So now we'll do the exact same thing with getting by getting the child count and removing it. And here we can see we're switching back and forth. Now this will obviously only work if the main scene that you're trying to switch is in the very front. So if it's right here, right? This, the last node essentially. If there's other stuff behind it, this will work perfectly. If there's other stuff in front of it, this will not work. You'll have to do the other the other way that I described and the other way I showed. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned how to manually change your scene um, instead of just using change change scene to file. Um, the reason you might use this, by the way, is this allows for proper loading. So you can wait if, if there's, essentially if something is lagging, right? If your scene is lagging, you can actually wait until this stage is loaded and it's completely loaded by looking through the these guys right here, these variables. So the get scene, this guy, or change scene doesn't wait. It, does, it just changes it and then it just doesn't care, right? But this, you can await and see if it's loaded, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's it. Um, I hope you guys learned and hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.